Herman says, hello, everyone. I would like to know if it is possible to make the files that I have in SharePoint or OneDrive be shared to a specific user automatically, depending on the name of that file. That is, if I have a file called uh, Jahan, uh, only Jahan can see it. I do the same for, I know it's supposed to probably supposed to be John, but um, but, he, but, but do the yeah. same for for <laughs> thousands. But that's not how he spelled it, so I'm right. pronouncing it as he no, spelled it. That's uh, and do the yeah. same for thousands of files automatically. Thank you very much for the help. Yeah, not much help, but you know the convention-based naming. I don't believe you're going to find any help from that in the platform. It it's something that depending on where the uh, you know emails get generated from. Excuse, not the emails. I'm sorry. Um, but the files, depending on the user, you might be able to write some sort of add-in that runs somewhere to do that for you. Uh, but you're not why? gonna get support but from why? the platform. Well, that is a good question, which we don't ask often enough, I think. Yeah, why? I would, And I, I would suggest that uh, I'd, I'd, I would look into it, but I bet you could do this with PowerShell. I bet you could actually PowerShell it with OneDrive. Um, and have it actually scripted out where it's looking for uh, regex strings uh, of the files, the file names, and then uh, uh, changing the permissions on the files on the on the share of the file. Um, it would be it'd be quite a bit of uh, of work, but uh, you know if you wanted to pay somebody to do it, uh, I'm sure there's there's We're people out there that, that would do it. <laughs> we might know somebody. Yeah. yeah. Well, I have an easier solution, uh, but it may not meet what they need. But create a folder in your OneDrive that you share with John and add the files to, or Jahan, um, and add the files to that <laughs> folder, and he will automatically have um, access to those. But I don't recommend doing that in a SharePoint library with the folders because that's a bad plan. They should be library level permissions, not folder level. Permissions. I think I think one of the things he's getting to here, though, is that he wants it to be auto magic right so right. Um, if he drops a file and it's a specific file name share it with jayhan this is right. one and done yeah yeah so remember we remember the old uh the document the document um there's a template in sharepoint where you could basically have a document repository and you could just drag and drop it in and then basically create rules that would automatically stick the them content in the right organizer place. the content, content organizer, organizer. Yes. thank yes. you <laughs> yeah, the bane of my existence is stuff would get pur purgatory because people wouldn't fill out the attributes that they needed to in order for it to work. To and yeah. the reason I say that is exactly that reason. That's why that's a bad idea. I, it's definitely better to uh, architect your content, put it in the right place. And then, for example, like, yeah, I would agree with you, Sherry, set permissions on a library folder if you have to, but at a library level with then just have each person have their own library. I mean, and just. Drop it in there. There's your files. Have a, have a nice life. Exactly. Yeah, there's no, I mean, it, well, it goes back to kind of the, the content organizer, the organizer comment, but if you have it tagged properly, if you have, if this is something that you want to ongoing, you've got a, a reasonably small team that you want to do this, but tag it in a way, it, as long as it's not a security issue, if everyone has access to all of that content out in that site, Ooh. um, that because that's a key question there. Do they have the right permissions for you to be able to move it across? You could be breaking things, breaking policies by sharing things that shouldn't be shared with individuals who don't have access to the right areas. Um, yeah. so, Limited access, hell, yes. Yeah. And if it's not, if it's just a preference thing, if it's just I want Jahan to see all of Jahan's file, you could just use <laughs> a view. I mean, essentially, you could have a library, right. like you said, if you, if it's tagged correctly. Um, that you can do, you can basically tag it so that it will show up in a view for only his files, which is a lot easier. Right. Yeah. The me Devil's view. In the details. Yep. Oh, I love the me view. <laughs> yep. Or what you could do is you could go and find the document IDs for every single one of those items and send an email and with a <laughs> list with all of those things, maybe bulleted, maybe numbered. Go crazy with your email. <laughs> what happened to you? Where did that come from? Christian uh, is not being helpful. That's your holiday <laughs> gift this year. Gift. Christian has been possessed by somebody we don't know. 
<laughs> the demons from file hell, I think. <laughs> We've all lived we did, through that. We did watch Krampus. That's an anti productivity thing. Yes, it is. <laughs> I'm going to tell you what, man. I um, make a lot of, uh, I have a lot of work around unique permissions management. I do a lot of permission stuff, and I lead so many people away from unique permissions on a regular basis. I'm yep. like, look at this lovely team. You can be an owner or a member. That's it. That's yep. all you need. You yep. don't need anything else. Yep. Yeah. But yeah, can I do this? No, you cannot. Yeah, the minute they they go down that, you know, I had I've been working with a group and they wanted to craft their own permission levels. They wanted edit without delete and all these sorts of things. And I said, it's yours. You can do what you want with it. I'm out. You know, that should no be out of questions. the box. Contribute should not mean delete. That out should be box. out of the box. Yeah, just that one though. Yeah. yeah. Just because you can contribute doesn't mean you should be able to delete. Agreed. Well, that's why if you have very specialized requirements for that's why it's, it's different scenarios like the, the whole virtual data room, the VDR solutions, where it's very specific around, you know, reorganizations. It's, it's about mergers and acquisitions. Um, where you have highly sensitive information and keeping people separate in areas and sharing sensitive information between the different groups. Like, that's not this scenario. This is, I think, this is where you can really push back in an org and say, keep yeah, things yeah. flat, keep things simple. Yeah. Thank you.